Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Greg Jones, founder and medical director of Innovative Wellness Center here in Phoenix, Arizona. And over the last several years, I've been using peptide therapies to help my patients with healing, reducing oxidative stress, reducing inflammation, hair growth, muscle building, fat loss, and so many of the amazing benefits of peptides. In today's video, I'm gonna break down GHK Copper, one of the most underrated, but most impressive peptides for skin health, hair growth, healing, and anti-aging, and cellular oxidation reduction, and actually longevity overall. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about what GHK Copper is, how it works, how it can help with healing, aesthetics, hair growth, skin health, and also some of the most impressive benefits it has for anti-aging and longevity. Let's get to it. So what is GHK Copper? GHK copper is a tripeptide bound to copper that is found in high amounts in our blood, urine, and saliva. Its levels decrease as we age. At age 20, you may have up to 200 nanograms per milliliter of GHK copper, and by age 60, that can drop to 80. This decline in GHK copper parallels what we see with declines in healing, skin elasticity, and overall cellular repair. The what makes GHK copper so powerful is its ability to bind to copper and then bind to our cells. And this improves so many cellular functions that help with healing, longevity, and anti-aging. Now, what this means is our body uses GHK copper as a biological signaling molecule. This turns on genes that promote regeneration, reducing inflammation, and reducing oxidative stress. So let's break this down into five major benefits of GHK copper. Number one, and this is the most well-known benefit of GHK copper, skin remodeling, skin elasticity, and reducing wrinkles. It's improving skin health. It does this by stimulating the production of elastin, collagen, and hyaluronic acid. It also increases what's called proteoglycans, and that helps with the extracellular matrix that helps with this kind of that stability and makeup of our cells. Now, all of these are essential for firmer, more elastic skin, smoother skin texture, and reduction in fine line and wrinkles. And as I said earlier, it activates these ECM or extracellular matrix molecule proteins that actually help reverse aging and restore skin elasticity and reduce the thinning of the skin. So number two, wound healing and tissue repair. One of GHK Copper's most powerful benefits is its ability to help us with wound healing and tissue repair and tissue regeneration. It does this primarily by increasing our body's ability to improve and increase angiogenesis or the formation of new blood vessels. Now, this is important because when you have an injury, some of that inflammation prevents your body from getting the healing growth factors and oxygen we need to start with healing and repair. Now, how GHK Copper does this is because you need copper ions to improve and increase and start the process of angiogenesis. So GHK Copper is going to donate that copper ion to help kickstart that process. Now, this makes GHK Copper valuable in treating wounds, burns, and surgical repair scars as well. And there are some studies that show that GHK copper can even help in the healing of diabetic wounds. But this means GHK copper helps to rebuild tissue from the ground up. So that means it's not just closing wounds, but actually regenerating what was lost. Number three, and one of the most other well-known properties is the ability for GHK copper to help with hair growth and hair restoration. Now, how does GHK copper do this? It helps with hair follicle size, hair follicle density, and hair follicle restoration. So that means it's going to help our body create and grow new hair follicles. And last but not least, GHK copper improves hair density and hair thickness. So GHK copper in this manner is often used in hair serums and hair shampoos, microneedling processes, and also hair regeneration injection treatments as well. So it doesn't just slow down hair loss, it actually helps kickstart our hair regeneration processes. Number four, antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits. So GHK copper isn't just working on the surface. It helps protect tissues by stimulating your body's own natural antioxidant defenses. It helps reduce the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines that drive inflammation. Now here's the bigger picture and a really cool thing. GHK copper can help stimulate the production of over 4,000 genes that our body uses in our natural protection and defense mechanisms. Those genes are tied to antioxidant production, cellular repair, and reduction of inflammation. So in other words, it's not just putting out fires, it's reprogramming our cells to actually reduce inflammation, reduce oxidative stress, and increase our own cellular defense. That what makes it a very powerful tool for healing, regeneration, and actually longevity. Speaking of longevity, GHK copper has powerful benefits when it comes to longevity and anti-aging. And this is where it gets really cutting edge. GHK copper appears to reset gene expression in aged fibroblasts. And that helps us restore more youthful cellular behavior. It activates genes tied to DNA repair, tumor suppression, and stem cell regeneration. And another cool thing about GHK copper, it also facilitates that copper delivery. And that's essential for some of our more key enzymes in the body, like lysooxidase, and that's going to help with collagen cross-linking. Another is in the increase of superoxide dismutase, a key enzyme in our body's natural oxidative stress defense as well. Any copper to increase that production of SOD, and that's key, another really cool thing about GHK copper. 
So this is why I like talking about GHK Copper. It's not just about beauty and skin and hair. It's actually one of our most powerful tools for anti-aging and longevity. And it's a true anti-aging signaling molecule. So how do we use GHK Copper in the clinic? And this is where I really like GHK Copper because it has a lot of really cool benefits and a lot of different modalities we use it. So a lot of us use GHA copper in a subcutaneous injection because you get more systemic and broad ranging benefits. So injecting it subcutaneously, that's going to help with reducing inflammation, reducing oxidative stress, but also getting some of those aesthetic benefits and longevity benefits. So it's more systemic because it is being injected and actually being absorbed in the capillaries and the subcutaneous tissue. Now, GHK copper can also be used as a topical form and topical serum. So sometimes people want to be more direct with it. Maybe there's a fear of needles and they don't like needles. So you can do GHK copper as a topical serum, as a dropper, in creams and gels and many other functions or many other different ways that can help with some of those aesthetic benefits as well. But you may not get some of the longevity benefits acting directly on those hair follicles or skin cells. And a lot of times we use GHK copper in part of healing protocols as well. So post-surgery, post-injury, really good for bone injuries as well because we do need copper for that collagen production, which is essential for bone. It can be used in combination with other longevity protocols like PRP and exosomes, and also other peptides to help with regeneration and pain relief and uh, energy restoration and even tissue restoration. So if this helped you understand GHK Copper, please go ahead and hit that like button. It's gonna help other people find information like this that they may find helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about regenerative medicine, peptide therapy, anti-aging, and longevity. So if you know of someone who's dealing with chronic inflammation, hair loss, and looking to improve their overall longevity, please make sure you share this video with them as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.